we're a very funny country. Americans are a very funny bunch of cats. And we are different, I think, in fundamental ways. You don't need to talk to Alexis de Tocqueville. He's kind of hard to reach these days. Uh, but you don't need to talk with him about American exceptionalism to know this. Uh, going back to our founding, we've had a very special and peculiar idea about self-reliance and about independence, including financial independence. And this conception is, I think, fundamentally different from the conception that one sees in, uh, in a lot of continental Europe, for example, where social welfare programs grew up uh, historically to some degree as compensating factors for uh, what were perceived class barriers and so forth and so on. We've got a very different history here, including our tremendously important and vibrant history of civil society and voluntary charity, which one does not see to any degree as dramatically in other OECD societies, not even in our near twin Canada. Um, and for our future, I think it's important to bear this in mind because this makes the whole question of transfer payments more, um, different in some ways, much more problematic for our society and for the political health of our society from other advanced OECD countries. Um, any decent society has to uh, look after its weakest and most vulnerable, and especially an affluent society such as ours, we're the richest large society that history has ever known. The question is how to do that, how to avoid the perils of moral hazard which come with, uh, with voluntary uh, with voluntary and with state policy help, um, and how to avoid what Bill eloquently described in being the kind of the tangle of dependence problems. Uh, the late Daniel Patrick Moynihan always argued that dependence was much more of a problem for the recipients than for the donors, and I think that's true today. I think we, we can financially afford our entitlement system much better than we can afford the moral and political costs that it brings in terms of corrosion to our civil wheel. Um, I do not have a 10, uh, I do not have a 10 point plan in here for what we need to do. I don't even have a 12 step program you know, in here. I just know that the first step in the program is saying that we have a problem. And, um, and what I hope we can do in this modest contribution that Bill and I are making here is to start a, uh, a civil discussion in America about our entitlements problem because unless we recognize the scale of this problem, uh, we are not going to get around to the discussion we need to have to build a consensus to address it. So thank you all very much. <laughs>